Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today we have a little bit of a treat. Because if you would know me and my wrestling, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is CM Punk. And since I started trying to collect Funko Pops, he's been one that I've been really trying to get. So, we got something in this box. So let's get rolling and let's get started with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I guess you can call it my holy grail. I really wanted to get both versions of CM Punk. There's one where he's in paint trunks where he's doing a little, you know, throwback to Macho Man King Randy Savage, and then you got the classic black trunks. Now the black trunks was a common, and the other one was a Hot Topic exclusive. So not that rare, but the way that they come, it seems it was. To get the perfect box, to get new riffs, new scrapes, new bumps and bruises, whatever can come to a Funko Pop that you don't want, that's what I have, hopefully, in these boxes. So we're going to open these right now, and, uh... I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest. I am the best wrestler in the world. I've been the best ever since day one, when I walked into this company, and I've been vilified and hated since that day. So we're just going to finish the completion of the opening of the box. That's not working, I'll just rip it. All right, okay. All right, and the first one I guess we're starting off with, if I can see it through here, is the Black Trunks CM Punk. Now this is actually also my first purchase from uh, the Hobby DB site, which I think is for the uh, PPG values and things like that. Um, I met a very nice woman who said her son used to collect these. Uh, now, the only thing that I am a little upset about is she didn't send it in any kind of protective case. She just kind of wrapped it up and threw it in a box. So, I guess we're just going to go over this carefully because I don't want to break or crumple or rip. And uh, we'll put this in the box. And I'm going to be honest with you. From first glance, I know I'm being very silent free now, though, what's happening here. It looks great. Uh, this is probably one of the best common CM Punks I've seen. Usually ones they have, you know, uh, creases or rips in the plastic. This one guy was trying to send me one uh, from Australia. He was showing me pictures and then it looked perfect. And then he sent me uh, a close-up shot and it had like a big crease in the side. I'm like, dude, you know, why didn't you tell me this in advance? And then I met the lady on the hobby shop and she hooked me up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do future purchases with her. I really like it. I definitely have to put this in a case. And yeah, I was right, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. 2015, yeah, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Actually, it might be 2005, 13, 12, 05. Oh yeah, 2005, yeah, wow, 2005. All right, and uh, I'm very excited for the next one because I believe we know what's inside. Let's cut this box open here. Go on the other side. And if you couldn't tell, I am wearing my CM Punk shirt. I would have filmed this sooner, but I had to go to my parents' house, pick it up. I couldn't just wear a Daniel Bryan shirt. Crazy. All right, and the next one. All right, we have some bounty to uh, tissue which I can maybe salvage and use later. Uh, the quicker, quicker, pepper, upper, bounty. It might not even be bounty. It could be cottonell or something. And this one, oh yeah, is in a hard case, shipped with beautiful care. And I will put this down here to get out of our way. I'll hold this bad boy up here before I do take it out because I definitely want to see it. Ooh, sorry about that blue light. All right, I'm going to take him out. We have to inspect to make sure that he's perfect. Careful. Careful. All right, cool. All right, so. Here he is. And I'll turn him around for you guys. You know, I'm gonna get one of those turntables one time and another camera so I can just like reflect it down there and it can turn. And this looks great. Perfect. You know what, I think I got this one off uh, eBay. <laughs> How funny is that? This one I think I did get off eBay. And it uh, is perfect. 
You know, the only thing that is missing from here is the FM number, like on the bottom of it, it usually has like a date. I guess it either came off or fell off or this one didn't have it. Uh, but it's official, it has the, you know, the CM Punk pop made in China, 1250 from Hot Topic. It's got the sticker. And he asked a bunch of people and they said it's official. So I'm pretty sure no one uh, screwed me over. CM Punk was the longest WWE champion until uh, he left the company and they wanted to ruin his record. Not ruin his record, but kind of like get rid of all his accomplishments. Uh, yeah, CM Punk, he's the famous guy who did the pipe bomb against uh, you know WWE and Vince McMahon calling him a bully and things like that. He's always in the headlines. People are still cheering his name. He's still one of my favorites. And we do have some time. Now, I did get another WWE Wrestling uh, Funko Pop. So I don't know if it's in this box, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to pull this bad boy over here and we're going to cut the sides up. Okay, and I do want to mention that after CM Punk left wrestling, he did have two matches in UFC where he, he, he failed miserably. Yeah, he did really bad. <sighs> but he does movies, he does comic books, you know, still very popular, they still change his name. So CM Punk, if you ever want to come back to wrestling, you have my go ahead. I don't know how great you'll be now, you know. But yeah, hey, if you still run, oh! We got the right box with the yes chant. Yes, yes, yes. And we got D Bry. All right, okay, we gotta take him out of this packaging. Ah, uh, D Bry has gotta be like uh, number four, number four. It's like CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Daniel Bryan. Oh, that, that butter knife. Uh, I'm not gonna take him out of here. Um, here you go. I don't wanna take him out of the case. This looks great too. You got the beard. We look a little bit like twins. We got the beard going on here. No? Oh, yeah, maybe not. This beard is a lot longer. I can grow my beard this long if I really wanted to. I just don't think my grandma would like that. No, she wouldn't like that at all. Okay, well, I gotta say, this was a great episode of 8 Minutes of Aaron. We got the two grails that are my holy grails, so my uh, what is it, ISO list um, that I'm interested in is clearly marked off because I got mine. Uh, they will go behind me, and I will never get rid of these bad boys, either with the uh, Daniel Bryan. I'm not going to get rid of him. Uh, the king of the yes chant. Uh, it's a shame that he's leaving WWE soon. Either he's gonna come back as a part-timer or go to New Japan. I don't think he's gonna get an AEW. He should have one more championship run. Let him run as that environmentalist. That would've been great. So I wanna thank you. We got the CM Punks, we got the Daniel Bryan. My name is Aaron. Thank you for watching Game Minutes with Aaron. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me who your favorite wrestler is. Hey, who knows, maybe I might purchase them and we can have a discussion. But I won't know unless you leave a comment. So uh, why don't you just go down there and just leave something? All right? All right, I'll see you later, bye.